This episode of Marijuana Today Daily is brought to you by our friends over at Ease.com, California's top one-stop website for legal marijuana delivery. Ring in this fine Monday by opening up Ease.com and getting your order in for whatever legal cannabis marijuana products you want for the week ahead. From flour to concentrates and from edibles to topicals, Ease has you covered. They have just about every legal way to consume cannabis represented in their menu found over at Ease.com, spelled E-A-Z-E. Ease only works with the top dispensaries in their active areas, so you know you're in for a great customer experience. If you like getting quality legal marijuana products brought to you at a fair and reasonable price, then you're going to love being a customer of Ease. To check to see if you live in a part of California where Ease is active, you just need to open up Ease.com and punch in your address. Ease has California's different sets of rules and regulations for legal cannabis delivery baked right into their system. So you'll find out in seconds whether you can place your order in minutes to take delivery in less than an hour. What a time to be alive. Thanks to everyone over at Ease.com for the support that makes today's news possible. Good morning, Marijuana Nation. It's Monday, October 1st, 2018, and you're tuned in to episode 581 of Marijuana Today Daily. I'm your host, Shay Gunther, and I'll be walking you through today's marijuana news and headlines. As always, we have a full and busy day of cannabis news in our hands, so let's jump right into it. Our top story to kick off the week is some concerning news out of the Mile High State, where Bob Troyer, the U.S. attorney in Colorado, said late last week that his office could start pursuing action against businesses that follow Colorado state marijuana law if they're being suspected of being involved in the illicit market. While that has kind of always been the case, the hook here is that U.S. Attorney Troyer seems to be signaling a new, harsher approach to Colorado's legal cannabis industry, admitting that his office is working with state law enforcement officials on a case against an unnamed dispensary chain with operations in Denver. A good story to read, no matter what state you happen to live and do business in. California Governor Jerry Brown made a disappointing decision last week when he vetoed a bill that would have allowed young medical marijuana patients to bring their medical cannabis to school with them for use during the school day. Falling back on the bugaboo of concern for the kids, Governor Brown said that he wasn't happy that the legislation would have allowed any young medical patient to use their medicine on school grounds and not just those living with seizure disorders. Wrapping up our final top stories today is Alan Brockstein over New Cannabis Ventures, who picked up on the rising inventory of cannabis being built up by licensed medical marijuana companies in Canada. Alan nicely charts out a couple of different lines of data showing the sharp increase in the ranks of registered medical marijuana patients, the growth rate of that pool of patients, as well as the overall amount of cannabis held in inventory by licensed providers. That figure has grown from around 22,000 pounds of flour in June of 2016 up to just under 150,000 pounds as of June of this year. Canada is, of course, in the throes of opening up legal adult use sales in just a couple of weeks, so this is a story that likely just won't quit for a while. Pop over to New Cannabis Ventures for all the charty goodness. As always, we have all the news we cover linked to on our website at mjtodaydaily.com and on our Twitter account at mjtodaydaily. Those are our top stories for today. It's time for Marijuana Today Daily Headlines Blitz. Before we blitz out in headlines, let's quickly thank our sponsor, Ease.com, California's top one-stop website for legal marijuana delivery. You know Ease is the place to turn for legal marijuana delivery in the Golden State that meets all testing, packaging, and labeling requirements. But don't forget that Ease is also one of the better places on the internet for valuable and useful bits of industry insight and analysis, which you can find over at Ease.com slash home. Ease has all kinds of articles and reports using smart polling, great writing, and their properly aggregated and anonymized sales data stream. If understanding the behavior of the modern cannabis consumer could benefit your business, then you should open up ease.com slash home right now and dive into it. That's ease.com slash home with ease spelled E-A-Z-E. We're hugely appreciative of all the support that Ease gives us. Thanks for making today's news possible. All right, time for the Blitz. Dan Adams over at the Boston Globe has a good piece up about the city of Boston and the fact that as of right now, there are no permitted marijuana dispensaries within its twisty confines. 
Boston's Suffolk County has yet to allow any kind of medical marijuana dispensary, though that could change soon as the office of Boston Mayor Marty Walsh has said that it will be entering into negotiations in the next couple of weeks over its first community host agreement, which is a contract between owners of prospective marijuana businesses and the Massachusetts towns or cities in which they hope to open. Air Canada just announced that a number of its employees deemed to be safety critical would be barred from using marijuana, even in their off-duty hours. Those positions include pilots, flight attendants, flight engineers, and maintenance staff. CTV News is reporting that fellow Canadian Airlines WestJet and Porter Airlines intend to release their own guidelines for employee marijuana use sometime before the October 17th turnover to legalized nationwide adult use. Keeping up north for a headline, the Financial Post has an update on a recent storyline involving a just announced policy to restrict licensed marijuana companies to owning and operating just one dispensary each within the province of Ontario. The Post's story looks at the potential loopholes being explored by some of the industry's larger players. This is one of those stories that I'd suggest everyone read, even if you have no hand in the Canadian market. Chalk this one up as legalization science. Some new numbers out of Colorado's Marijuana Enforcement Division shows that around 550,000 pounds of legal cannabis were grown in the state in the first six months of this year. Swing over to Thomas Mitchell's story in the Denver Westward for this one, which includes some stats on cannabis product testing and failure rates. Hopping back to California for a headline, we have another one about Governor Jerry Brown, though thankfully in this one, he signs the cannabis bill. Last week, Governor Brown signed into law a bill that frees up veterinarians to discuss the use of medical cannabis with their patients' human caregivers. The bill requires the state's veterinarian medical board to develop a set of rules and guidelines for how California veterinarians should handle medical cannabis-related conversations. Marijuana Moments' Chris Wallace has an update to a story we reported last week about a recent filing in Canada for a trademark application for quote-unquote chronic by Dre by medical marijuana giant Canopy Growth, which most took as a sign of some kind of deal between Canopy and music icon Dr. Dre. But as Chris's story has it, it turns out that the filing was made by an overly zealous worker at Canopy, which does not right now have any kind of formal deal with the hip-hop legend. And finally for today, Deb Borchardt over at Green Market Report is reporting that the networking company Women Grow is being acquired in a deal for an undisclosed amount of money. First, a quick disclosure on this one. I'm friends with Jane West, one of Women Grow's founders and an infrequent regular on our weekly show Marijuana Today. I'm also friendly with lots of people associated with Women Grow and was one of two male speakers at one of their leadership conferences a few years back. As Deborah has it over at the Green Market Report, Women Grow is being purchased by the company Hollyweed North Cannabis Inc., which signed a letter of intent to buy on September 10th. Those are the headlines and news for the day. I'll be back with you again tomorrow morning with another information-packed episode of Marijuana Today Daily. But in the meantime, if you have any stories to share or feedback to give, zip us an email to headlines at mjtodaydaily.com. And while you're clicking around the interwebs, swing over to our Twitter account at mjtodaydaily and visit our website at mjtodaydaily.com to find links to all the news we cover. My friend David lost his ID the other day, so now I just call him Dav. (sighs) Thanks to our sponsor, Ease, and to our awesome patron listeners for the support that makes this show possible. To join the illustrious ranks of the patron listeners yourself, swing over to our website at mjtodaydaily.com and click on that big blue button at the top of the page that says become a patron. I'm your host, Shay Gunther. Thanks for tuning in, starting your day with marijuana today. Today. One take, Shay. One take.